Welcome to the introduction to LIDAR for Autonomous Vehicles course. My name is Joseph Shaw, Joe Shaw, and I'm a professor at Montana State University. I studied optics at the University of Arizona, and I'd been doing LIDAR for a long time, and all of a sudden the world got very interesting because everybody else discovered LIDAR and cool things started happening. So we created this course just recently, and, and it's been an exciting one. So I hope you have some fun. The, the topic, as, as you might hopefully know, is going to be LIDAR systems, and specifically talking about LIDAR that we can make for autonomous vehicles. And that might be for sensing from an autonomous vehicle for the purpose of you know seeing what's out there. Or it might be for perception, for guiding the, the autonomous vehicle. Or it might be for both. You might even have multiple LIDARs for multiple purposes on a, on a system. Um, I have a variety of pictures on the front here just to sort of motivate the discussion. Let's see if this is working. And if it is, we'll go. Yeah, there we go. We have some content. Uh, OK, so as this slide sort of tries to illustrate to you with a variety of headlines, I'm, I'm sure it's not a surprise to you, since you're here, that there's a lot of news going on. And it's the, these news articles really are driven by the self-driving car world, right? Which isn't necessarily the one that you're interested in. But whether this is the market that's driving your interest or whether your interest is something totally different, it is a fact that LIDAR for autonomous vehicles is in the news, for better or for worse. And I could have easily made this slide for this, ver for this conference. I could have easily made this slide with headlines just from the last month. I'm going to take you through a couple slides at the front here, probably showing you what you already know. But let's just kind of get our interest going by seeing the variety of, of things that we could talk about in this course. And it, I enjoyed hearing from you because now I realize that, yeah, this diversity of topics that I put in the first few slides really does represent sort of the diversity of interests in, in this group. It's not just all about self-driving cars. We could have unattended aerial vehicles, right? We could have a LIDAR on a little quadcopter looking at a 3D map of some area. We can have surface vehicles on the water trying to navigate their way through uh, a harbor or something like that. We could have underwater vehicles. A couple people here were talking about, about interest in this sort of thing. And this is a company that was started by a guy that I know. And they're doing exactly that. They're doing LIDARs on autonomous vehicles underwater. You could do this in space. You could have a LIDAR to help you. In this case, this is a. Um, this is a car, kind of a cartoon showing the use of lasers and LIDAR in different stages of landing on a, some kind of uh, space surface. You know, so here we're just using a laser altimeter just to gauge our altitude. Then you can use a flash LIDAR to start imaging the surface and seeing what we have to deal with and finding the landing spot. We have Doppler LIDARs for velocity. And then flash LIDAR again to image the landing spot and make sure that you're not landing with one pod, one foot over on a rock that causes the spacecraft to tip over. Whenever I use graphics that aren't mine, which is frequently because I want to give you a diversity of background here, the uh, reference is usually, well, I think always given <laughs> at the bottom. So you can look it up and read more. We can have LIDARs on autonomous ground vehicles, which could be a military vehicle, could be a car. And I purposely borrowed the images from this article because it shows a couple of things that I want to make a point of. First of all, this, this vehicle has a number of sensors. In other words, it, it's, it's rare in my, in fact, not only is it rare, it never has happened in my career that one sensor can solve all my problems. And it's really true in this case, too. One sensor is not going to solve all your problems. So they have multiple sensors. And then the other thing that I wanted to emphasize here was all the processing that goes on. We're going to talk about LIDAR today, and really from the viewpoint of LIDAR design and understanding the, how a LIDAR system works. 
But the hardest problem in autonomous vehicles is the perception problem and the algorithm and what to do with the data. And that's not really what we're going to talk about today because that's beyond the scope of what we'll talk about at length. I thought this was an interesting application. Um, autonomous ground vehicles for precision agriculture. This little robot car going down looking at the plants and getting a 3D image of the shape and height of the plants. And of course, the thing that's in the news so much these days, self-driving cars, 